Hello guys, it's Joshua here. Another 2022 related voiceover audio video review. This is going to be my long anticipated thoughts about this. I've been waiting to talk about it. So, Harry Potter's 20th anniversary, Return of the Hogwarts. I've been waiting for this and to talk about this. This start came out on HBO Max in January 1st. Marks the 20th anniversary of the release of the first movie, Harry Potter, and this is a reunion special of the franchise. Now, if you guys know me, I am a massive fan of the Harry Potter series. I have been since I was a child. It's my favorite franchise of all time. I love the movies. I love the books. It is my favorite movie of all time, especially the third movie. So... In a lot of ways, this was personal to me because it is something I've grew up on, like many other people in the 2000s, just with the ring. And I first heard about this last year, during last summer, that there was going to be a reunion. I was like, the Harry Potter reunion, that's awesome. And me being the Harry Potter fan that I am, I was obviously going to watch it. So I went ahead and watched it on January the 1st. I could not be any more satisfied with this. I feel very happy when it comes to this documentary. Now, this is a nice way to start the 2022 year off back in January so I just want to get into talking about it right now because I have some very happy thoughts on this. What this is essentially is a celebration of the series on the 20th anniversary of the first movie Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. As I said I am very happy to talk about this because this is something that's near and dear to my heart. I have been with this franchise since I was a young child, and when I first saw Sorcerer's Stone, I've reviewed every single film on here, including the Fantastic Beast movies, but this was something that I actually didn't think was going to happen. I thought I was just joking, they were joking about it, but no, they actually really came through for me with this and this was like I said I was very pleasantly happy with this the thing that I enjoyed the most about this reunion was seeing all of the actors and the filmmakers involved where each individual film gets to go into the onset locations at the Warner Brothers Studios tour of the making of Harry Potter they all get to reunite with each other they get to share their stories they get to tell how it changed them, how it affected them, and how much fans is pretty much embraced this franchise. And just hearing them talk about stories about each individual movie. And I just, I'm sitting there taking it in with a smile on my face. I was happy, I was laughing, getting to see the three main actors in the same room together. Daniel Radcliffe, Rupert Grant, and Emma Watson. I... Couldn't have been more happier because you wouldn't have a Harry Potter reunion and just not have the three main trio. It's not. And seeing other actors like Tom Felton and Matthew Lewis, Bonnie Wright, the two twin brothers, James and Oliver Phelps, Gary Oldman. This was personal to me. And in a lot of ways, it was personal to a lot of Harry Potter fans as much as personal to the filmmakers and directors who got to share the experiences with them. They do play some themes from the movie, but it's mainly music for the documentary. And hearing every actor can talk about their stories on each of the films and them goofing off and just talking about how that it changed them one way or the other is just very satisfying watch and then of course you do get to see each of them tear up talking about it and in a lot of ways it feels very nostalgic because you've been with the franchise growing up for so long so it only makes sense to go back into that world for this reunion anniversary. And I was just very satisfied watching it. It felt like a homecoming in a lot of ways. That's when you're 
going to a high school homecoming or having a high school reunion with your graduation class that's what watching this felt like it felt just like that and I was very satisfied to see how each of them has grown since the 20 years and what they've all been doing and how they've been celebrating the legacy and hearing some fun secrets like how Emma Watson secretly had a crush on Tom Felton, how Emma Watson and Rupert Grant, they almost quit the franchise, how much pressure it did become for them, but they stuck it out, and how much of a responsibility it was. Because when you're committed to a franchise like this, it is a massive responsibility, especially the directors. Also getting to see other people like Imelda Stanton, like who played Dolores Umbridge and Helena Bonham Carter and the directors talking about it like Chris Columbus, Alfonso Cuarón, Mike Newell and David Yates. That was something I was very with and David Yates has taken over the franchise since the eight film series ended with five through eight. He's directing the Fantastic Beast movies and he is a very committed director. He knows exactly how to shoot his movies and just getting to see all of them have fun in the well-known rooms. You get to see the poster room. You get to see Snape's classroom. You get to see them all hanging out at the Hogwarts ball. And it's just something that is just... It brings a tear to your eyes watching it. Because you've been with these franchises for so long. And the thing I was very concerned about going into this was were they going to do tribute to the actors who's passed away, like Richard Griffiths, and of course the late Alan Rickman and Richard Harris, the first Dumbledore before Michael Gambon, and they actually do that. It's very well done with some respect and some decency and some great legacy to those actors and their characters. Even some of the filmmakers who has passed away during the production of all eight movies. You feel it, and you feel very satisfied watching it. And I, just seeing the Weasley family talk to each other, that was very fun. The brothers talk, Bonnie Wright getting to talk about it. And also just a lot of moments with the main three actors where they're saying thank you to the fans because without them, they wouldn't be where they are. Especially when you talk, get Emma Watson's side of it later on at the very end where she's basically crying about her experience and the fans, how much she respects the fans and loves the fans. Like... Nothing here felt stage played. Everything felt real. It felt like I was back home. <laughs> I don't know how to tell it is. It just felt back home. My favorite thing when they conversation of it is when they do talk about the first movie and when they do talk about how the series progressed. Especially when we get to Prisoner of Azkaban, which is my favorite, and Chris Columbus. And just, I felt. A very tremendous amount of emotion watching it. It felt like, again, like I said, I'll say it again. It felt like going back home to something that you know. And in that case, is Harry Potter. Because this is, this is part of a lot of people's lives, especially the books. Even if you're not the biggest fan of this franchise, I think you can get something out of this. Even if you think the franchise is a little overpraised, you get something out of this. And I got sentimental. I actually tore up at the end of this. Because you, we all know this is something that's personal to me. So obviously I was going to tear up about it. Make a little cry about it. Because... It's, and I'm pretty sure a lot of Harry Potter fans who watched this on HBO Max, they f felt crying about it. You have to understand, this is something that is well-loved and will always be well-loved. Even with our future kids, our grandchildren, your children's children. And 
at the end of the day, I I couldn't ask for a better reunion. Like this was almost a Hogwarts reunion was everything I wanted it to be. It's very nostalgic, emotional, very sentimental, and in a, the best word, satisfying. This is a hell of a way to start off this 2022, and right now 2022 is doing just good. Sure, there's still some things that are going on, but everything is just doing just fine in 2022. And it's stuff like this that makes you remember why you're a fan of it. So, ultimately, I have to really just say, it is definitely a Spider-Verse worthy documentary. So, in the comment section down below, what did you guys think of this? Return to Hogwarts Special. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Are you somewhere right in the middle? Are you a fan of the franchise? All my social media links in the description box down below. My chime is also there. My Amazon wishlist is down there. Be sure to like, comment, and share this video because it does help more videos grow like this. And it does help this channel grow. And... Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos like this. I will see you guys in the next one. Join the epitaxiness and you guys keep it cool. Thank you, Harry Potter, for a great impact on my life.